And so that's what I said. And so the fake news has been hounding me about, are you going to uh, uh, protect women's reproductive rights if you're the president? And they got to understand that I'm not going to have time for that sort of thing. Once I get in there, I'm going to be too busy revenging my ass off. I'm going to be too busy setting up a completely draconian, totalitarian, you know, sort of a handmaid's tale, um, you know, kind of regime nightmare hellscape for people, you know, with me in control. I've said that I'm going to be a dictator on day one and then I'm going to be dictator on day two and day three and right on down the lines. And, you know, I think that a lot of people really like the idea uh, of that. They do. Believe me, that all takes a lot of work. I am going to be too busy uh, pursuing my uh, my own personal petty uh, revenge and power fantasies uh, once I get in to um, to worry about stuff like that. That's up to the states. That's totally up to the states. And people are just really ecstatic about that. They believe me, they love the idea that they'll get to uh, they get to travel state to state trying to find someone to give them needed medical care using our great freedom of travel that we have here in our country. It gets them outdoors in the fresh air. It gets them exercise, which is good for them. Uh, and it's good for the baby, which um, let's face it, they are nothing but a walking incubator for. And if they don't have money to travel, well, what about hopping a boxcar? They can ride the rails like they did back in the in the good old days that we are trying to turn our country back to. And so people really like this idea. They really, really like it, believe me. My poll numbers are going up. All my polls are going way up, despite what the, uh, uh, you know, um, despite what all the polls services are saying. And, and also, I'm uh, contrary to the fake news media reporting on me. I don't fall asleep during the crooked DA's witch hunt. I especially don't uh, fall asleep in the courtroom, just like I've said. And I mean, some people were saying to me, how do you especially not sleep? Oh, no, just, just get, and, uh, don't you just sleep or not sleep? And uh, I, I, that is not the point. The point is I do not sleep in that courtroom. It's fake news. I do not sleep. OK, Trump never sleeps. What I do is that I, I simply close my big, beautiful blue eyes sometimes when I'm in there and I listen intensely and take it all in. OK, like the Buddha or some sort of, you know, some kind of Zen master shit, because I'm really, really listening to it all, um, you know, really intensely and everything. Um, you can tell how intense I am because I have big, beautiful blue eyes. I'm sure you've noticed how big and how blue and how beautiful they are and everything. I'm sure you've noticed that I, I really have I, I really have the, the most eyes than anyone has ever seen before, ever before, believe me. Um, I am very, very intense in there. I curse, I shake my shoulders around like some sort of agitated mountain gorilla, okay? I glare at people with the piercing glare of a cage wild animal, okay? I'm intense. I'm totally, totally uh, intense. And some people say I'm too intense. They come up to me, they say, sir, you're being too intense. You're too intense, you're like the Joker. You remember the Joker in the Dark Knight movie, The Great, but I'm not. I'm not like the Joker. What I am is that actually I'm more like the Batman. That's what I am. I, I'm the Batman. I am the Batman. Trump is the Batman. And it's a very great responsibility and burden uh, being the Batman. People people just don't understand. They don't know. And it's very, very sad. It's it makes me sad. But no one knows what it's like to to be the Batman to be the sad man behind, behind my big, beautiful blue eyes. No one knows what it's like to be hated, to, to be faded, to telling only, to telling, uh, that is to say, hold on a second. Oh, shit.